Okay, so hi there folks, we're now in our next video in statistics and here we're going to now uh, redo our our lesson in measures of variation or actually in the in the introduction to variation uh, for that matter. Um, but now instead of using Excel, we're going to I'm going to show you how to use Jamovi this time. Okay, so again, we're using the handouts created by uh, Dr. Sweet Rose Lunaris. So let's have this introduction to variability. Now we're going to make use of Jamovi. Again, consider the following two sets. We have male or female of number of bottles of soft drinks consumed in a week. So we're going we're going to need first to input these values of our data data set. So we have our data set A and our data set B. Sorry for that. So let's go here in Jamovi and we'll try to input. Um, let's just call it A since it's called A here. Um, we can just have some descriptions of what you would want to do so let's just say these are the males so that we will get, won't get uh, confused and here let's say these are the females for b so let's hide that that form and then let's input the value so we have for the for letter a for the male so we have three four five six eight nine ten twelve and fifteen so that's we have um nine of them nine of them and then for the b uh we'll input three seven 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 eight 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 nine fifteen okay so um we're we we were a task here to fill in the table that we need the, to get the value of n though it's uh, this um it's obvious here but let's try to do that and then we need the value of x and then we have the value x bar rather and then x tilde again remember x bar as the mean x tilde as the median so let's go here in the data in analysis tab let's click on exploration and click on descriptives for us to know the the mean and median and and, and um including the n so we'll have we'll be given this um window next and then uh let's input the a and the b as our variables Let's input the statistics. We don't want the other values for now. Uh, we just want, we just would want to know the mean and median in the end for all of these descriptives in A and B. So in here, it will show us the descriptives of A and B in a while. It's still loading. Okay, so yeah, here we go. So we have the NS9 as we have um, obviously seen. Um, the mean is 8. As you can see, A and B are equal, 8 and 8. And the median is also 8. So um, with this, we can we can uh, see and observe that uh, the mean and median values are equal, though the values themselves are not identical. Okay, so some remarks that we can see, the measures of location do not give the adequate description of a given distribution. If the... It, if the purpose is to differentiate between the two uh, using measures, okay, um, that is, you can see that we have the same mean, we have the same median. So the two measures do not describe how the observations spread out from the average. Okay, so let's consider this illustration down here. Um, down below, below the number line is the is the letter A variable. Above the number line is the letter B variable. So we can see that the, on the letter B above the number line, um, they are closely clustered together. They're closely lumped together. While on the A, they're fairly scattered. Okay, they're fairly scattered for the A, and for the B, they're they're fairly clustered. Okay, so we can see a lot of sevens and a lot of eights, which we can verify in our values. And therefore, we can say that there's a need to use a measure that will differentiate between the two distributions in terms of how much they are scattered or how much they are dispersed. Okay, so that's what we call the measures of variation. Okay, so these measures in some books, they call it the measures of dispersion or measures of variability. So it gives us a numerical value for the degree of dispersion, scatter or spread of scores in a distribution. So we have three types of them. We have the range, standard deviation and the variance. The range is the simplest one in which we're just going to get the difference um, of the values between the highest and the lowest observations. So it's very easy to get, um, but this is not very useful in some situations because it only considers the extremes and it does not take into account the book of the observations or or whatever is inside the two extremes. So um, when will we use this, um, when the data are too scant or too scattered to justify the computation of a more precise measure, and when the knowledge of extreme scores or only the total spread is what we only want.
So again, how do we get the the range? Um, just the the maximum score minus the minimum score. So remember, in our Excel, we didn't get this this option of getting the range directly. You can actually just click here in Jamovi and click the tick box, the checkbox for the range. So the range is both 12, which is also satisfied in this handout. If you want the minimum, the maximum value, you can just click on the maximum and minimum value, um, and then it will show you this. Okay, so notice in this example, it shows an instance where the range values are not able to differentiate between the set A and B, although the dot plots present different, different, um, uh, you know, different um, presentations of sets A and B. So set A are there, pretty scattered. Set B is pretty lumped up and clustered in between seven and eight, which is the center of the distribution. But here, the range did not give us that value. That you know, the range values are still equal, giving us the uh, you know, it, is, it doesn't give us any anything new, okay, since we know that the mean and median are equal already. So there is a need to have a measure that will be able to truly distinguish between these two sets. So that is actually the standard deviation, uh, shorthand for SD. Okay, so this is the most important and the most commonly used measure of variation together with the mean as the measure of central tendency. That's why when we reach the, the lesson for normal distribution, uh, the mean and the standard deviation are are paired up together to get the the best picture of a standard normal distribution so um it's a measure of variability that's based on the difference between the values of each observation so we call that x sub i and the and the mean so what we have is a deviation is the x sub i is a, a single um data from the data set and then we we deduct that um by the mean so that's a deviation but Anyways, actually, it's just um, important for you to know these definitions because um, these things or these uh, values, these formulas here, we won't be needing them anymore because we can we can just click them here in Jamovi. So when can we use the standard deviation or the SD when the statistics having the greatest stability is what we want to dis what we want to get, and whenever the mean is the preferred measure of central tendency, so we want the standard deviation to be the preferred. Um, measure of variation. So we have these um, two formulas for the standard deviation. We have the population one. Again, it's using a Greek letter, sigma. So this is sigma squared. And we have the sample standard deviation. This is S squared. Actually, these are the variances. Um, the SDs are without the, var the, the squares. So this is the, it should be the sigma only. This is the variance, sigma squared. Okay, so you just need to get the square root of this sigma square to get the SD, get the square root of the S square to get the standard, the SD. So the f the difference between the four formulas are actually just the denominator. Notice that we have a mu here, which is a population mean, and the X bar is our sample mean. Anyways, look at the denominator. The, the denominators are different because in the population, we only divide it by, by the population size. That's our big N. But in the sample standard deviation, what we have is a small, it's the small n or the sample size. We deduct that by one. We call this um, Bessel's correction, in which uh, um, maybe I will reserve that to the, another video. But it just tells us um, if we're going to put here the n, it underestimates um, the sample. So um, we're going to make use. Uh, just know that that in the standard deviation, um, we will be using n minus one in the formula instead of n. Also, it follows here in the raw score um, formula. So you can use the the calculator in getting such, um, but again, we have Jamovi here on the right side of the screen, so we don't need to have this calculator anymore. So this is one example. Let's get back to that later. Um, we have this one example that, that is already here in front of us. So we have here the A and the B, which these are all given on page one. Again, these are bottles, not books. Sorry. So um, you may use or create a, a table. So you can have this a lot of steps of doing so. But again, we have this Jamovi thing. What you need to do is, again, we want the standard deviation, right? So just, just click the standard deviation. It will give you the standard deviation automatically. So we have here the standard deviation is 3.9. It should be bottles. Since we're or or drinks or soft drink, drink soft drinks, so this should be three point nine, and then yeah, the answer is three point nine four, pretty much okay. And for the set B, it's three point one, so we have three point one two, so which is 
which is um, correct. Okay, so let's go back a one page before and then we'll be answering this and really determine if the standard deviation is indeed correct. So let's go back to data, into inputs of the, the data here. Um, we will call this scores in a test. So this is where it's, let's call it score. Okay, and then we'll input the scores here. Uh, what do we want? 32, 71, 64, 50, 48. 63, 38, 41, 47, 52. Oops, um, I have had a blank. I'm sorry. Let's just cut it and paste. Also, Jamovi uses um, the same shortcut. So, Control C for copy, Control X for cut, Control V for paste uh, for easier manipulation. Okay, and then we want to get the descriptives of this score, this third um, column here. Again, go to the Analysis tab, click on the Exploration button, and then click on Descriptives. And then it will lead you to this, um, again, the same window. What we want to get now is a score in the variables. Put it in. We don't need the other things here. So we just only need the... Uh, standard deviation so in order to get the standard deviation just make sure that the standard deviation is checked and um focus your attention here so the standard deviation is 12.3 which is pretty much the same here in our answer okay so it's only done uh, with the one click on your touchpad or, your, or on your mouse just make sure that this standard deviation is clicked um has a check mark on it and then you will get this value no need for this um very tedious um calculations okay so that's how we get the standard deviation so in using Jamovi just make sure that the standard deviation option is checked and then let's talk about the variance we have there some YouTube videos but you know just watch my YouTube videos don't watch them <laughs> anyways for the variance um, this is just the square of the standard deviation so this is actually the Sigma squared or the um, sample variance or the sample uh, what do you, sample sd squared so that's your s squared so this is actually of little use in descriptive statistics because of its calculated value is expressed in square units of measurement instead of a of a non-square units which is shown in the standard deviation anyways if you want to get the variance actually the variance is the one which is not um not got not um what do you call that you know you, you didn't apply the square root yet so if I'm going to click the variance, it should be 152.04. So is it? Yeah, the answer is 152. So if the answer is 152, that's pretty much equal or yeah, the same with the 0, 152.04. Um, how about these? Let's go back here. Um, these are the variables A and B, right? What I did is I just double clicked on the analysis in order for me to go back to that analysis. You may double click here and then go we'll go back to the analysis here and with scores. Um, I'm going to double click on this table that it will bring us back to the analysis on the A and B. What I want is to check on the variance. The variance should be 15.5 and 9.75. Just click on the variance um, option here and then it will show you that. So we have the variance 15.5 pretty much equal um, we have for the set B, we have 9.75, which, which is also pretty much the same or equal. Okay, so um, the rest is the applications of the standard deviation, which we're going, we're going to deal with that on a separate video. So that's it for this video for now. So at least we have learned something in Jamovi and how to uh, make, our, make our lives easier with some statistical softwares and no more of, no more of them have manual. Um, calculations okay so hopefully this helps so thank you very much for watching